simply type in speedtest.net into your URL bar and voila, you'll get speedtest.net, the website. This is a free application that is out there on the internet for anybody to use to measure your download and upload speed. Of course, the next question is, what is download speed? Simply put, download speed is how quickly you download data from the internet. So what is a good download speed? Well, my rule of thumb is simple. Make sure you have 100 megabits per second or 100 Mbps per person in your household and you will be just fine. Also a quick note, most people will be just fine with the upload speed that comes with your package, which is usually lower than your download speed. So let's get started. Back at speedtest.net, go ahead and smash the go button. The application will then measure your download speed on what looks like a speedometer and give you a number. As it measures your speed, also keep in mind that you may pay for a certain speed with your provider, but if you read carefully, they will always say up to X speed. What this means is that it depends on how busy the connections are, and unfortunately, if you see about a 30% variance, that's actually pretty good. In our case, it looks like my download speed is about 764 megabits per second. Pretty good. As I said before, don't worry too much about upload speed, but as long as you have about 25 to 100 megabits per second, you should be just fine. Well, that concludes Bat Briscoe's life lesson on how to test your internet speed. I've left links below, but please feel free to reach out if you have any questions. And as always, please like and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.